guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It is Kay Carlson, yours truly, of course. Today, as you can tell by the title, I've got another haul for you guys. Y'all love them. I'm gonna keep giving them to you. And I guess I'm just gonna have to keep shopping, damn it. But today is gonna be pretty random. Some gym stuff, some like shorts, bathing suit cover-ups, just a bunch of random stuff. There's a pair of shoes in here. I've just been, you know, slowly saving up, piling up these new little things. And I knew soon enough it was gonna be enough for a haul and it sure is. Let's just jump right into it. I know usually my hauls have a lot of sheen stuff today. There's only two sheen things. There's actually three, but one of them has gone MIA and it's just a different color of these two things. So I gave up looking for it. You'll get the gist. I really wanted to look on sheen to see if they had dupes for the Skims bandeau tops because I've been seeing people wear them to the gym and I just thought they were so cute. Bandeau tops make your shoulders look huge, your back look huge, and I just think they look so cute. So I wanted to see if Sheen had them and sure enough, I found these. And when I tell you guys, these are my favorite thing I think I've ever gotten from Sheen. I'm gonna go get more. I got a brown one, a grayish one that I'm gonna show you next. And then I also got a black one, which is the item I can't find. But like I said, you get the point. It's just this bandeau top, but which makes this perfect for the gym is it's this slippery material and then there also is this like gummy whatever rubber thing so it doesn't slide down. I'll pull it up you know here and there when I'm at the gym but for the most part it stays up really good and they're so cute so definitely if you're a gym girl or you know this I would wear these just day to day as well, which is great. So you can wear them both. These are amazing. They're like $6 probably, super cheap and super good quality. So I love this. I'll show you what it looks like on. Here's the fit, fits like a glove. I love it, so cute. Makes the shoulders look jacked, makes the back look jacked too. Not the best lighting, but just trust me. So comfortable. This is like perfect workout top for me. I love it. I'm so excited to go buy more colors of it. I don't even know what other colors they have, but I want them, whatever they are. I'm getting them and you guys definitely should too. Okay, so you basically get the gist of it But here is the next one I don't know how to really describe this color because it's gray, but it, it's like a weird gray I don't know. It's got like a weird purpley maybe tint. I don't know. I really don't know how to describe it This jacket is bothering me. It's super cute. It matches most everything that I've got and again It just has the like rubber whatever you want to call it on the inside so it doesn't slip and it's perfect I'll show you guys what this one looks like on even though you probably already can tell. Again, super cute, fits super nice. Not much more I can say about these ones. I mean, front, back, super cute, super good material. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I got all of these in a size small. They fit great. I don't really have to adjust them. And Sheen really did what needed to be done with these. I'm extremely, extremely impressed. Moving along, I got two things from Young LA, two pairs of sweatpants. I don't have anything Young LA or I didn't have anything Young LA until now, but these sweatpants are so cute. If you're a gym rat, you probably are gonna recognize them, these first ones, but I love the color. I bet it'll be no surprise to you guys that it is blue. I love blue, obviously. I have so, so, so many blue clothes and I'm not complaining at all. But these are this, oh look, they gave me like little Young LA stickers, that's cute. These royal blue ones that just say Young LA and or Young Dreamers Club actually. What does this even say? Sees the invisible, feels the intangible, and achieves the impossible. Anyway, it's got rose, butterflies, super cute. Like look at this color you guys, it looks so good on camera. I was hesitant if I wanted to buy a small or a medium. I ended up going with the small. I kind of wish I got the medium just because I love when joggers and hoodies are like extra big, but these are still big on me and they do look nice. So I don't know, maybe the small is the best go. They're super nice quality. They're pretty soft on the inside, I would say. They're just adorable. I love them so much. I haven't worn them yet. I still have the tags on them and stuff. I'll try them on for you guys and you can see what they look like. Here are the joggers. I think the small was actually okay. I think medium would have been too big. They fit me really great and they are just so so soft and so comfortable. I think I might have to wear these to the gym today. But of course, I love them. This is like my favorite shade of blue and they just look so nice with the sports bra even. It's perfect. So shout out to Young LA. Definitely worth the worth the purchase. The next pair of sweatpants I got was just because I needed to add like a few dollars just to get free shipping. So I was like, it. I'm just gonna get a whole nother item. And I love yellow. Um, <laughs> 
My friends make fun of me because I say that yellow is not my favorite color, but I've got a yellow car, a yellow apartment. I wear yellow all the time, but I swear it's not my favorite color. It is a great color and I do like it, but orange is my favorite color and I stand by that. But these are so cute. These are men's sweatpants, but I bought them anyway. And they only have them in a size medium. So I did get these in medium. I haven't tried them on yet. So I'm excited to see how they fit me, but I thought they were so cute. These are a really thin material. They're definitely different than those ones. Those are like a thick, soft one. These are super thin, which will be nice. I'm in my Miami, it's super hot here. This is what, I guess I'll show you the back first. This is what the back looks like. I love this little pocket, just, I love any pockets. And then it has just the YA on it. And then the front, this is just what they look like. So joggers, simple, and then they just have the YA right there. So I don't know, these are cute. I'm excited to see how they fit me. So let's put them on. Okay, these joggers are definitely big and loose on me, but I like it. Honestly, yeah, the waist is a little bit big. I think that's probably the biggest problem, but not too big. I mean, definitely still wearable. The material is really nice. I feel like these are going to be perfect in Miami because they're super thin. They feel actually like cool inside. I don't know, this is a super interesting material. I don't know what fabric it is, but I really like it. The pockets are huge, probably because they're men's pockets and boys always put so much crap in their pockets, but I f with it. I love a little back pocket. Oh, how does the booty look? Well, they're huge sweatpants. Actually, not bad. Not bad. And I love this color. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this item next because you're gonna be like, bro. But I got this pair of yellow joggers, which uh, I know I sound like just dumb after everything I just said, but I got these actually before I got the Young LA ones. These ones are from Adidas and I saw them and I just thought they were so cute and I love them. These are the softer, thicker material ones and they also are in a size, oh, they're in a size small. I don't know, but they look pretty big. So I haven't tried them on yet. I'm also really excited to try these ones on and see how they fit. They're pretty much just plain and then at the bottom, it just says Adidas right there. Can never have too many joggers, which is not even true because I live in Miami. So there is definitely a point where there's just no reason to have this many joggers, but. I don't know. Let's try them on and see if we like these or the other ones better. Okay, second yellow ones. These are really big for a small. I didn't really confuse how these are a small because I feel like they're huge, but again, in a good way. So comfy. I really like them. I don't know. I think I like the Young LA ones a little bit better because I like the material of them, but they are so cute. I definitely am gonna wear them. Definitely glad that I bought them. Score. Next up, I got a couple pair of jean shorts from Levi. These ones that I got are my new favorite shorts. They're so cute. This is what they look like. They've got like the little bit of rips right here. And then this is what the back looks like. And some Levi jeans slash shorts have no stretch to them, but these ones are like stretchy and they're so comfy. They're super flattering. I've already posted on Instagram in them a few times. They look fire. I love them. Go like those Instagram pictures if you haven't already. Comment a uh, lemon emoji if you're coming from the YouTube video. So cute. I love these. They are in a size 20. Okay. Sorry about that. They're in a size 25. Even though I just kind of showed you, I'll try them on and show you again what they look like. Ah, this is the fit. Like I said, super stretchy, super nice. I like how it's a zipper and not all the buttons because that's such a pain. I hate having to do that. The back, the booty looks so good in these. I am pleased. They're flattering. These are definitely my new staple shorts. I've already worn them multiple times. They're just comfy and so cute and I love them. Shout out to Levi. Y'all did a good job. Sponsor me. Do, does Levi even do sponsorships? I don't think so. The other pair of Levi shorts that I got were actually a pair of jeans. I actually got these from, I think it was uh, Ross. Maybe I got them. I didn't get them from actual Levi, but I got them from, I think it was Ross. If you guys have ever been there, they have fire stuff. But I got these jeans and then I was like, I want to cut them and make them into like long, like mid thigh shorts. Cause those are kind of in right now. I did it in, I don't know how I feel. I think I might need to cut them a little bit shorter or just wear a cuter top. I don't know. I think I can definitely make them work, pull it off. And I love the wash of these. So this is how I have them right now. I don't think I've washed them or anything yet. So that's why the cut is like so straight on. and doesn't have any like frillies or whatever you want to call it. The buttons are like this. I don't know. I just thought the wash was super cute, but either way, if I end up not liking them long, I can just cut them into short shorts and they will look super cute. So I'll try these on and you guys can let me know what you think. Okay. As I said, these ones are iffy. Um, I don't know. I really thought I could just pull off like this whole like 
90s girl vibe. I don't know, and maybe I still can. I bet I still could. If I had like a bandeau top on, some sneakers, and a flannel, I think this would look cute. I don't know, I do. Like I said, I really like the wash. Worst comes to worst, I cut them to right here and they're still gonna be super cute shorts. I would say the biggest issue I have with these is the waist because I don't know what's up with Levi, why they fit so differently. Like, it fits me normal in the front, but then you get to the back and there's like all this space right here. So I don't know, I mean, my booty holds them in, but there is this weird flap thing right here. I, I did what I could. Eventually these will get worn. For some reason, they will get worn, trust. While we're on the topic of jean shorts, I've got like five pairs of jean shorts in this haul, but I'll show you this pair because this is just one little thing that I got from Hollister and they're these shorts and I love these shorts. They've got like the Hollister thing right here and they're just striped with these like white stripes I don't know. They're so cute. They fit me so nice and they're so comfortable, which I hate just like really uncomfortable jean shorts I refuse to even wear them anymore. These ones I got on a size 24. They fit me awesome. I love them Let's try them on. Here they are. I love these as I've already said like 10 times I feel like they're a really good length. They're not too crazy or anything. They fit me still really nicely They end perfectly right below my butt and I feel like they're just a really good length in the front There's no extra room here. They just they fit me perfectly, which is really hard for me to find because I have pretty big legs and normally it's either gonna fit me in the legs or the waist, not both. So when I find a pair of shorts that fit me in both like this, it's just such a blessing. That's why I'm so excited about it. Sorry guys. Here is a little bit of a closer up look at them. Here's the back. I'm staying in a pile of clothes right now so you guys can see these. So yeah, adorable, love. I forgot that I also got one more thing from Ross that I'll show you guys and it is these shoes. I was already planning on going and buying a brand new pair of Nike A1s because mine are trash they're back in New York. So I wanted to get a new pair, but then when I went to Ross, I was just like having a shopping day with my friend and I saw these and they literally look exactly like A1. Honestly, even cooler if you ask me, because they have like the CK on the side because they're Calvin Klein. These were only $30, you guys. A1s are what, 130? And these are so cute. I feel like they're cuter than A1s. They're just so nice. I'm honestly mad at myself that I didn't buy like three pairs because you know, white shoes eventually down the line, they get ruined. Also, I love these cause it's a slippery on the side. So I already know they're gonna be so easy to clean. And I just feel like this is the best deal in the world. If you guys have a Ross, go check and see if they have these. I actually bought these in New York, but I wonder, I should check the Miami Ross and see if they have them as well, because I really do regret not getting multiple because that's such a good deal for these. And I've already worn them once and they're so cute. I don't know, I'm not gonna try them on because you don't need to see them try on, but love these. The next thing I'm showing you guys is a dress. This is a dress I got from Princess Polly and it's so cute. My friend convinced me that I needed to get it. And it's basically just this white baby doll dress. This is what the back looks like. There is a little cutout right there. I haven't tried this on yet, I don't think. So I'm excited to try it on, see how it fits and see how it looks. But I just feel like it's so cute with a little pair of like nude heels or something. I don't know. Eventually I will have a place to wear this, I think. And I just think it's so cute and I love it. So let's try it on. Hopefully I don't stain it or ruin it. This dress is so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love this. I feel like I should be going to like a brunch right now or a dinner party. I don't know, it's just so cute. This also has that like stickiness right here. So don't have to worry about it falling down. Here is what the back looks like. It's not too short either, which is a lot of times my problem with dresses. So, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I bought this. I almost didn't buy it. Shout out to my girl for convincing me that I eventually would have somewhere to wear this because I definitely will. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Princess Polly, y'all. Go get this. I got one more dress that I'll show you. This dress is from Urban Outfitters. I saw a girl wearing this on Instagram and normally I would never just like go buy it, but I liked it so much that I was like, I need to find this and buy it right now. I don't care how much it is. And it was like pretty expensive, I think. I don't know. I guess it wasn't. I guess I'm just used to shopping in Sheen, but it is so cute. I love it. It is like the prettiest dress I've ever seen. And it is see-through underneath here. So I was a little nervous about it, but I was like, I'll definitely figure something out. Oh my God, it's just so cute. It's got like little frillies on the side. I'm just obsessed and it's such a nice color. Anyway, I knew it would be okay because I have these workout shorts that are pretty much the same color. So I tried it on with these underneath and it looked totally fine. It looked so good. It worked out perfect. 
perfectly. And I'm so glad I bought this dress. I'm going to Texas a week from today. So I'll definitely find a time when I'm there to wear it. This with like cowgirl boots, I don't know. I just feel like it'd be so cute. I will try it on because I just know it's so much more cute on than it is just like looking at like this. So I need to show you guys it on so you can see what I'm talking about. Are you obsessed or what? This is just so cute. This is just so, so cute. I feel like it's perfect for girls with no boobs because it somehow makes them just look nice without anything there. And honestly, if you have big boobs, I don't even know if they would fit in this little thing. So I feel like it was made for me. I love how it goes like up and down, shows, you know, the legs. And this is what the back looks like, which is like, so cute too. Goes on further here to cover the booty. I showed you guys, I've got shorts on underneath this and I feel like it looks so good. I can't wait to wear this. I'm so excited to wear this, you guys. I better get like a billion compliments. Another random singular item that I got is this from Amazon. Somebody actually bought this for me on my Amazon wish list. So if that was you, thank you. I love you. If you want to get something from my Amazon wish list, I will have it down linked in the description. So you can pick something out and then send it to me and it will be featured in my next haul. So that would be super cool. And if you do, comment below or DM me on Instagram and let me know so I can thank you personally because I really appreciate it. So I got this. This is something that I had on my wish list and I'm so excited because it is so hot. I don't know when I'm gonna wear it. I have no idea, but at some point I'm going to wear this. And it's basically this like gem black net cover up type thing. It's gonna make a lot more sense when I try it on, but you basically just throw it over like a bikini. Like if I was going to a pool party, say, or like the pool club here in Miami, this would be something you could throw on over a bikini. It just, it'd be hot. I'm actually going on a yacht on Friday for a party. So maybe I should wear this then. Maybe I will. Perfect. But it is a little long on me. So I think I can really easily easily just cut through like this netting and make it shorter. So I'm gonna have to do that. But in the meantime, I'll try it on. I uh, have only ha tried this on one time and I had a blue bikini on underneath. I think I might try it on with a white bikini. I think that will look really good. So let me put the bikini on and let's try it on. Here's what it looks like, but I'm gonna have to give you guys a close up look because you're really not gonna be able to see it from that far away. I honestly don't know if white is the move underneath this, but this looks so pretty with my like light on camera. It's all shiny. I definitely have to cut it because it goes all the way to my knees and my light box just shut off. That's nice. But you guys get the gist. It's going to be on my Amazon storefront. So if you guys want to go get it, my Amazon storefront is going to be linked in the description and y'all can go get it. The last few things that I have are all stuff that I got from Play-Doh's, which is like a secondhand store. I don't know if that's like a popular thing. I think it is. Um, but me and my friend went on that day. We were just having like a shopping day. We stopped in there and I actually found some pretty cute stuff. So I figured why not? Might as well just show you guys in this haul as well. The first First thing is this jacket. Actually, I'm pretty sure I got this at Ross, actually, you guys. No, I'm pretty sure I got this at Play-Doh's. I'm pretty sure I got this at Play-Doh's. But is it not so cute? It's like a color block, like button up and it's got gray, white, and blue. I'm obsessed with it. It's so comfy and it's, I don't know, I've never seen anything like it. It's like corduroy. I love this. First thing I got was this flannel. I saw the blue and it was over. I wanted more flannels because I left most of mine back in New York and I didn't really like any of them. So I wanted to get some new ones because I like to just throw them on when I leave for the gym. I thought this one was super cute because I have this hood that's like really thick and nice, honestly. And it also is like cropped. So if I wear it, you know, you can still see the booty and the shorts and it's got some like rips in it, I think. Just like tears and stuff like that. I don't know. But it's from American Eagle. It's a very American Eagle type flannel. Fun fact. I worked in American Eagle for like two years in high school. When I tell people that, they're like, yeah, I can so see that. Either way, from American Eagle, super cute. I'll throw it on for you real quick. Here is how the flannel fits. I know I probably could have done this sitting down, but this way you can see kind of where the length goes. This is kind of where it goes in the back. As I showed you before, here's like the little rips. I feel like the elbow might have not been the best place to put the rips because I feel like they'll rip even more. I don't know. Here's the hood. Gang. Super comfy. I like it. I'm glad I got it. I thrifted a couple more pairs of jean shorts. So these first ones are an L. I really thought that these were gonna fit me. Wait, no, I got these from Ross. I'm sorry. I got these from Ross, but they're from Forever 21. They were there and they were $4, like $4.50. So I was like, I'm buying these, but I don't know what I was thinking because they're too big on me. They're size 27. They are really cute though. They have like the little things here, but they really are big on me. I think if I wore a belt, maybe I can make them look cute. I don't I don't know, I'll try them on and show you guys how they fit me. They are super cute shorts, but I think they're just too big. All right, y'all, here they are. They're big. They're, they are, they're too big on me, quite simply. Um, But like low key, they're kind of cute. 
and they're just so comfortable because they're so big, but they, they look pretty stupid. I really thought that they were gonna be like really tight and then this was gonna be like, Height like this, I don't know. I don't know, I guess I have body dysmorphia or something. I always think I'm a lot bigger and I'm like, oh, these will definitely fit me. And then it's like not even close. But either way, they're still cute. So take a look at the Depop, which I'll have linked down below because there's a chance I might end up selling these ones. The next pair of shorts I got, I absolutely love. I've been wanting to get like a lower rise pair of jean shorts. I've been in my cut era lately. So I was like, you know what? This is my one time I can rock those low rise and maybe not feel like self-conscious. So I saw these. I really liked the wash of them because I don't know. I just think it's a really nice blue wash and they're just so simple. Basically teeny little Daisy Duke shorts. They're from Bullhead. They say high rise, but they're really, really, I feel like not that much. I don't know. Size 25. Uh, let's try them on. All right, here are the shorts. I guess they are a little high-waisted. I don't know. I have a really short torso, so I'm used to high-waisted things going up to like here, but they're so cute. I just feel like they fit me like a glove. They really could not fit me better, but looks flattering. I feel like they're just really nice shorts. I really like the way they fit. They're pretty comfortable. They don't have too much stretch to them, but like I said, they fit me so good, so it's really not a problem. Why do I feel like it's off with my belly button? <laughs> I don't know. Super good purchase because they were only like, I don't know, less than $10 because like I said, I got them in Play-Dohs. I'm definitely glad that I got these. So many of my jean shorts are way too big for me now because I've lost a lot of weight in the last couple of years and I haven't bought new ones. So it was definitely time that I got some new jean shorts. This my friend found for me at the thrift store and she was like, you need to buy this. It would look so cute. And I'm so glad that she convinced me to buy it because it is so cute. I posted an Instagram picture in this the other day, which I was one of the ones that I popped up and showed you guys. And it's just this little like baby doll tank. It's got like flowers and teddy bears on it. And then it's just got this like lace detailing at the bottom, a little bow right there. I don't know, it's just adorable. It's from a place called Cider, C-I-D-E-R, Cider. I don't know why I said it was so weird the first time. I don't know what that company is, but maybe you can find it. Super cute, let's try it on. Here is the top on, so cute just for like a little outfit like this. Jean shorts, some sneakers. This is it up close and the back, I feel like it goes right to a perfect length. It's like right above my belly button. I'm gonna have to go check out the Cider website, see if they have more cute little tops like this because there's just so easy to throw on if I'm just going to like get lunch or just go do something chill and simple. I need more stuff like this because it's mostly like hot going out stuff or like active wear stuff. So I need more just like casual going out doing things stuff. And this is perfect for that. Last but not least are these pants that I got. And these are also like meh. I tried them on and I was like, I don't know. But I don't remember what I tried them on with. So maybe now that I'm ready and look cute, I'll like them better. But I just wanted a pair of like loose pants. Like, I don't know, tan pants. I was gonna say cargo pants, but they don't have the cargo pocket. So I just saw these and I got these. Like I said, I was at the thrift store, so they're cheap. I don't know, I'll probably eventually wear them. I can wear them with just like a little white top and those like white shoes and they'll probably be cute. Like I said, I tried them on, but I really don't remember what they looked like. So let's try them on, see what's good. Here are the pants. Honestly, I do think they're cute. Like if I just wore, you know, like these white sneakers and just wore this outfit just for something chill, they're comfy and I fuck with being comfy, so. I like them. They fit me pretty good. I guess they fit me like I would like them to fit me. Uh, it's just a matter of finding the right occasion and finding the right vibe to match it. But they're cute. And I think it was a good thrift store purchase. If I spent like $50 on them, then I would be like, ugh. But the fact that I definitely spent just like a few dollars on them, it's fine and I'm, I'm happy with it. All right, you guys, that wraps up the haul. I know it wasn't like a shit ton of stuff, but still a lot of stuff and a lot of different fun stuff, which I like doing. I tried to make sure they were unique pieces. They were fun things to show you guys. I don't want to always just be giving you guys active wear hauls. I want to make sure I do a variety of things. So let me know how you guys like this video. If you guys like seeing just these fun random clothes that I get and I can definitely make more for you. Let me know if you guys have any other video suggestions. Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. And of course, as always, hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I would really, really appreciate it. I've got a lot of fun videos coming up and I don't want you to miss them. So I hope you guys are having the best day in the world, best week in the world. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.